Hello everyone, I am CA Pratiksha. I welcome you all in your YouTube channel. Friends, sometimes we have to create the number of folder in our system. Let's take an example, you are a professional and you have the more than 100 clients and you want to create the folder for each and every client having a unique name. Then what you will do? Or let's take an example, you are with HR department. You have a list of employees and you want to create a folder for each and every employee. Then in a normal way, what we are doing? We are just doing a right click and go to new and create a folder, just rename it. But let's take an example, you have 500 cases of such type. Then how many folder you will create? So it is a very time consuming task and it is not fruitful to create individual folder. So in today's video, I will show you how to create a folder from the list available in Excel. Means you have 100 of employees in your Excel sheet and you want to convert it into folder, then how to do? So if after watching the video you feel you have learned something, please like the same and if you are a new, subscribe the channel and share it with your friends. So let's see how to create a folder from the list in Excel. Let's see friends. Friends, I have already prepared the list of my client in Excel and I want to create independent folder for all these my client. Then how to do? So we start with, we have to type MD over here. Now we have to apply the concatenate formula. I have already prepared a detailed video on this concatenate formula, but and I will also share the same in the description. You can also watch that. But here I will also show you how to do. First we have to start with is equal to, then we have to type concatenate. Just select the concatenate. Now first point is we have to select the cell in which we have written the MB. Then to the comma, now we have to apply the sign of intuited comma, again space and intuited comma close because I want the space between this MD and the name. Again comma and select the name of the client, just close the bracket. If you will observe, I have added MD before the name of my client. Now I want the same in each and every cell, I will just select and just try, you will observe MD has been added with each and every name. Now I have to just copy this, just control C. Now we have to open the notepad file. Friends, I have opened the notepad file and next step is we have to just press control V. So whatever name you have copied from the Excel, it will become over here. But if you will observe the name contains the name as well as surname. Why I am telling this? but see in the next step. So I have to just save this file, just click on the file and just save the button and save the file. I have already created this folder because I want to create the folder in this folder. The USA client is my main folder and in this folder I will create a one file. The name is clients dot extension over here is most important. What will be the extension? B A T. It is a short form of batch file and just click on the save button. Now I will take you to the folder where I have created the file. If you will see the batch file is appearing over here. Now the next step is we have to just do a double click on it and see the magic friends. Oh, Excel has created all the folders, but wait, wait, wait. If you will observe the SHA was the surname in Mr. Neil. So what Excel has done, it has created separate folder for name as well as surname and this is not the correct picture. So in next step, I will show you how to create a folder with name and surname both. Let's see friends, because in previous formula, the surname has been created as a different folder. We want single folder. Then we have to just do an into inverted comma sign anywhere. Let's do it in this cell into another comma and do the enter. Now I apply the same concatenate function. Now here first we have to select the cell as MD then comma as I want the space. So I have to first do the into another comma space again into another comma. Then we have to do comma. Now I want the sign of into another comma. So I will just select this. I will just do 
and or I will just do a comma select the name again insert the into that comma sign so I will just do a comma and select that cell and close the bracket but here we have to lock this cell on this point it is called absolute and relative referencing so I have already prepared a video on this but if you want to freeze any cell you have to insert the sign of dollar so let's take an example I will press F4 so dollar sign will be inserted by Excel again I will do F4 because I want to freeze the sign when I will drag the data just to enter you will see the name has been added with infinity dot comma now can I drag yes absolutely yes I can drag this data okay now the same process I will just copy it again I will open the notepad file friends I have opened the notepad file and what we will do just do a control V whatever name we have copied from Excel will come in this notepad file and if you will observe every name is within into a netted comma now the next step is file click on the save button I will save the file name with UK clients clients dot bat because we want to create the batch file so just click on the save button now we will go to the folder where I have saved the batch file so it is over here UK clients and next step is just do a double click and see the magic see friends all the folders are created with the surname so you can use it anywhere and you can save your time friends if you feel I have added some knowledge to you like and share it with your friends Thank you everyone. Keep smiling. Take care.